we're going to update the validation date of a, of a user's affiliation. This user is going to be Michael Brown, who's right here. And he has an affiliation with DevOps, which is on the IT side right there. And so we can see that he also has a Google Apps account. So here is Michael Brown. And he has three projections, which is for the uh, IT HCM connector. He's got an LDAP connector projection and a Google Apps connector projection. Furthermore, he has three assignments, DevOps affiliation, and then a couple with midpoint. So what are we going to do? We're going to jump to the IT resource file. We're going to find that user's record, Michael Brown, right here. And we're going to look at his affiliation. DevOps, got active status, and he's got an end date of 531, 2017. So let's imagine this person is a contractor for the IT uh, side of the house. As contractors often happen, those affiliations will end naturally. So let's say that in this case, this contract expires on January 31st, not May 31st. And so uh, this would be an example of a governance control where based on a date that's part of the record that comes in from human resources, that affiliation and the uh, corresponding accounts would automatically update after that date. So I'm going to change this, save it, and I'm going to have to do a manual import to trigger this event. So back to Midpoint Console, go to the resource CS connector, find that particular user, Michael Brown, and we're going to do an import. Okay, so what just happened there? Let's look at Midpoint, see what Midpoint's view of, of what just occurred happened. See Michael Brown's now gray. He's no longer active. We go into projections. He lost his projection for the Google Apps. He still has it for the LDAP connector. And see he's now disabled in LDAP. So we decided for whatever reason the policy is to retain that account in that resource even though they're no longer active. So this system could have just as easily deleted that account, but the retention policy for this enterprise requires that it not be deleted, that it be disabled instead. As far as assignments, we can see he no longer has the midpoint and user role, so he can't log on this system anymore, and that's the midpoint system. And as DevOps affiliation has now terminated. So you can see it's there, but the, the end date is January 31st of 2017. So that affiliation should no longer be active, meaning that he's no longer a member of the DevOps team. As far as what's going on inside of the resources with Google Apps, we can see that that account is no longer there. It was deleted. And we go to the directory, we find that user's account, do a refresh on it and say, yeah, it's disabled. You know, maybe we change the password or locked it out per that resources lockout procedure. And then we go into the affiliation, which is the DevOps. Do a refresh, and we can see he's no longer a member of the DevOps team. So that affiliation automatically terminated at the end of that date, which is a, a way of remaining in compliance when people's relationships with the particular enterprise is no longer current.